another video and if you're new here hi my name is Tamina and I make um, university lifestyle content and for today I'm sitting next to my suitcase because we travel on Monday to Diani Mombasa for just three days and I need to pack literally I travel on Monday and literally I'm going to go for a cut I say literally too much I'm going to go for a cut and then another lesson and then straight to the airport so I need to finish packing everything today so that the rest of the weekend is just uh, me catching up on my reading because I haven't been reading much this semester and I don't know why so it's currently Friday it's 16th August and we need to start packing so I thought I would bring you guys along with me so that we could just pack together you can see what I carry maybe get a few packing tips I don't even know so if you just want to keep watching keep watching <laughs> I would not watch your channel Tim. So if you guys want to see what I carry for a three-day vacation, then keep watching. And if you have any packing tips, please let me know because I have a tendency to overpack. I'm literally the girl who goes camping or goes for a one-day trip where you travel and come back. And I'll have a whole duffel bag and an extra bag. And if you have any packing tips, you can leave them down below. But I'm just going to pack as a content creator would pack because I want to take a million photos. I want to zoom you guys on Instagram. I'm going to disturb you guys on Instagram. I hope you're ready. <laughs> so first things first, I actually have to check what type of weather is there in Diani because we always assume Mombasa is hot no matter what. It's like we think if Nairobi is cold, Mombasa is just it's always hot, which it is, but sometimes it always has like rainy weather. So I'm just going to ask real quick. Hi Siri, what's the weather in Mombasa? Diani. The weather's looking good for Mombasa today. Up to 28 degrees. Specifically, what's the weather in Diani? Here's the forecast for today. Oh my god, you guys, I'm seeing like um, 18 degrees and 17 degrees. So I'm going to pack variating between hot weather clothes and like cold weather clothes. And I don't mean like cold winter, but I mean like like a, like a jacket or two. Like the really light jackets just in case and then yeah basically that's it so i think the first thing that we should always start with is like clothes because you'll always forget i always have this fear that i'll forget my toothbrush and my underwears and yeah it's scary so the first thing i think you should always do is clothes and you should make like a little list of all the clothes that you need so for me it's like short tops dresses um two jeans in case of cold weather and for jeans to come back and yeah that's pretty much it and then don't forget to make a column as well in your list for shoes accessories bags and hats and yeah that's basically it and always remember to carry a Masai Shuka I think this is a Kenyan staple you can never go wrong with a Masai Shuka you'll always you'll need it somewhere trust me <laughs> so I'm just going to pack my clothes I'm just going to sort out the clothes that I need and then I pack them so basically I'd already tried all of my clothes on just to get a rough idea of how the outfit would look because sometimes you plan an outfit in your head and then when you wear it it looks horrible and I want to wear most of this outfit to take photos in. <laughs> That's such a millennial thing to say but sadly it's so true but not sadly because I like creating content so it makes me happy. I feel like I'm just trying to justify me taking outfits just for photos but it is what it is. So the first thing I have is like my tops and I've put them in like um their own kind of column and they each have like their own outfit that they match with so i'm going to put tops in like their own column and i want to pack the clothes in like to roll them this is a trick my aunt taught me when i was like six and i always use it till now because it saves so much space especially because i want to load up my suitcase with shoes so i'm just going to pack in all my tops and yeah you know my suitcase my suitcase still has this paper you know this paper when someone flies with your suitcase and i remember how all kenyans used to love like when you're going for like a school trip and then all the bougie kids would show up with this sticker <laughs> on their suitcase and then you'd be like what is that and then you'd see like a bougie like they would have traveled to like a really bougie country like I don't know, like Dubai or something, and you would be so wowed.
Once you've ticked off like all the items on your clothing list from your day clothes to your night clothes to your extra photo shoot clothes millennial style you have to take your toilet shoes and this is my favorite part because i love packing toilet shoes and i love buying toilet shoes so since i'm filming a skincare routine video i'm not able to put like my skincare products in those little plastic bottles that you can get from either dubois or miniso or wherever you get them but i'm going to have to carry my products whole so that you guys can actually see them in the video but if you're not recording a video feel free not to do that so i'm just going to take all my products and put them in this bag because i also bought like can you see this I also bought face masks and I'm so excited to try them out because I recently discovered that my skin is kind of dry. It's combination skin so I have dry and oily skin at the same time. So I thought I would try all these masks but I'm going to just keep one so I can use one like tomorrow and then keep the rest in the bag together with um, everything else. And if you don't want these things to leak, we're just going to put a plastic like foil on top. The way we used to do it in primary, the way everyone used to carry their primary water bottles, we would put like um, cling film over here and then we would close it so that it doesn't spill on everything. Because I also need to do a, I'm so, <sighs> I wanted to say I need to do a flat lay of all my masks and then I realized I'm such a social media addict. <laughs> everything has like an instagram aspect to it is, is that sad i don't know so yeah and then you carry anything that you need like your sleeping mask if you're just extra like me and i just like the pattern of this to be honest and then your this is the thing i use to keep my hair off my face when i'm doing my skincare routine i'm going to pack that as well but first i'm going to put um the cling film over all of these things that are liquid just to prevent them from spilling then i'll just put them in their bag and then they'll go on this part which can zip up on the suitcase guys thank you so much for watching if you reach this point of the video comment something like guitar because i really appreciate it thank you for joining me till this point of the video and yeah i'll see you guys on my mombasa vlogs i can't wait to record them i'm so excited so i'll have to pack the rest of the things on monday because i'll have to 
pack them, go straight to school, do my cut, and then finish and go straight to the airport. So it's going to be a crazy day for me. And obviously, I'm taking you guys along. <laughs> so watch out for those. And if you want to know when I post my vlogs, you can just subscribe and turn on post notifications. And if you like this video, please give it a like and share it to anyone you think would like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, T-Fam. Hey.